Welcome to Moving Math and Science. In this video, let's work on two-step equations with fractions. So let's get started. Now, first thing we would like to do is eliminate is get k by itself. So we'll need to subtract one fourth. But before we get started, I'd like to convert this to an improper fraction. Remember the sign here. This is going to be important. So two times one is two. So two times one is two plus one equals three. So we have a negative three halves. So let me rewrite this. We have one fourth plus k equals a negative three halves. Now what we're going to do is subtract one fourth from each side in order, excuse me, not four over one, one fourth from each side in order to eliminate this. So I'll bring down the k. And now we have signs for the uh, rules for a negative minus a negative. And that is basically you just add these and then keep the negative sign. But before we do that, we need to find a common denominator, and it is 4. So 2 goes into 4 2 times, and 4 obviously will multiply this by 1. So when I do that, 3 times 2 is 6 over 4. And then we have a 1 over 4. Remember, this is negative. Okay. Now what we do is negative 6 and negative 1. It's like adding, but keeping the sign is a negative 7. And you keep the 4. So k is equal to negative 7 over 4. Or if you'd like, you can convert this into a mixed number. We take 7 divided by 4. Uh, 4 goes into 7 one time. You have 3 remaining, so it will be 1 and 3 fourths, and it is negative. So there we go, the first type of two-step equation with a fraction. Let's work another example. Okay, with this next example, you have x here. So we know we need to get x by itself, but we have it in this fraction form. So what do we do? Well, we know that this is division, so we can um, get rid of this 2 by multiplication. So we're going to multiply each side times 2. Excuse me, a negative 2. These will eliminate, so we have x plus 1 equals negative 2. 12. Now all we do is we want to eliminate, get x by itself, so we will subtract each side by 1. Okay, these cancel, and remember the same rule that we applied last time. Um, a negative and a negative is just like a positive, but keep the sign is a minus 13. Okay, now real quickly, a little shortcut. If you have this, okay, and you only have one fraction and one number on the other side, you can cross multiply if you would like. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12 equals um, x plus 1 is x, 1 plus 1, 1 times 1 is 1, and then it becomes x is negative 13. That's a little bit quicker way if you would like. And remember, again, you have to have one fraction and one number. Let's work one more example. Okay, here's our last example. First thing I'm going to do, again, we have the a in a fraction, is I'm going to get rid of the 17 by, uh, since it's negative, I'm going to uh, add 17 to each side. Okay. These cancel, so you have a over 3 equals... A positive and a negative, remember, you keep the sign of the larger number. You subtract, keep the sign of the larger number, so that would be a positive 3. Now, remember the rule from last time. We have a fraction and just a number, so I'm just going to place this over 1. I'm going to cross multiply. 9 equals, and that looks like an I, a 9. That's actually an A. So A is equal to 9, okay? Now, if you don't like the shortcut of cross-multiplying, then what you would do, remember this is division, 
So you multiply this by this side by 3 and this side by 3. These cancel, bring down the A is equal to 9. There we go. Two-step equation with fractions. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.